How's it going, Top Forest TV? My name is Jack, and welcome to my preview for Nottingham Forest versus Brighton taking place at the Amex. So, yeah, last time we did play Brighton, it was a 0 0 draw in the middle of sort of a, uh, a difficult run of fixtures, or actually, I think it was a back end of a difficult run of fixtures. We had. Um, well, I say a difficult one of fixtures. We had what looked like on paper a good run, but it just did not go well at all. We had sort of a Fulham at home, Bournemouth at home, which we lost to. We we lost away at Wolves, who were struggling at the time. Um, it wasn't great. I think we lost against Leicester as well in that cluster. Um, and then um, we played against Brighton away and actually managed to um, get a point, which was really good for us. Um so yeah, look, a nil nil draw in that one. Would I take a nil nil draw in this one? Yeah, yeah, I think I probably would. To be honest with you, um, our away form is better this season than last, but still not great. Um, so anything we can take from this one, I'd be really happy. Um, looking at the other results from today, then um, Palace and Luton drew, which is good and bad for us. It's good because it means two teams around us drop points, but bad because. Luton are now three points behind us with a game in hand. Obviously, we've got this game to play against Brighton. But once we've done that, they will have a game in hand, which is on Wednesday. Should they beat Bournemouth in that one, they'll be level on points with us. And that just does not feel good at all. Um, and then obviously we've got a point deduction, which could drop us wherever. Who, who knows? But look, I think there's 10 games to go. We're in the real business end of the season now. Um, it's come around quite quickly, really. Only 10 games to go. It feels like um, It feels like it should be longer. I always tend to get that um, in the in the season. We get towards the end of the season, and I'm like, "How are we here already? It's gone really quick." Um, you know, I'm still kind of in the mindset of, "Right, well, we we we'll, we'll need to find our feet," and and kind of, it's like, "No, the feet need to be found now." We should have found our feet already, if anything. But uh, yeah, look, I think I think um, I think. By the way, sorry, I was meant to say this at the start of the video. Completely forgot. Excuse the Inter Miami shirt. I'm still a Forest fan, if you didn't gather. Just like the shirt. And also, this streaky light thing. I usually wipe the, the lens and it goes, but it's still here, so I don't know. But look, um, yeah, anyway, sorry. Just, I was meant to say that at the start. Completely forgot. We move. Um, but yeah, look. Uh, that draw. Good, because like I say, two teams are dropping points around us. But not ideal because obviously the implications that could have going forward. Um, Everton and Bright Everton Everton and Bournemouth. Sorry, Everton and Brentford lost, which is good for us. Um, obviously, Sheffield United dropped points to Bournemouth, which I don't think Sheffield United are anything for us to worry about. I think they're pretty much down, really. Same with 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 Burnley, but it's still good to drop points. Um, but yeah, look, coming into this one then. Brighton off the back of a drubbing in Europe away at Roma. Um, are they going to be... I mean, they could be coming back in two minds, really. One of them could be, right, well, we've just lost, you know, feeling a bit sorry for themselves and we can go out and, and pick something out of them. Or it's going to be a case of, well, let's go and let's go and, 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 and apologise to the fans. Let's really go and, and put it right, give Forrest a slap in and make ourselves feel better. Um yeah, I, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one. Like I like to always say, looks like we've got a few more players coming back now, which is good. Um, looking on the uh, training pictures, you see the likes of Sangare, Chris Wood, Bolly back, which is good to see. I'm trying to I'm trying to work out really if this season we've had a, a, a moment in the season where majority of our first team are fit. It just seems like oh well, you know when this player get, comes back, when that player comes back. How you know them will be looking good, and I think now might be a time where we're looking at getting a few more first teamers back. I can't remember the last time Sangare played. I don't think he's played since before Afcon, um, so it'll be really important to get him back. Same with Ola Aina, Same with uh, Chris Wood. Having that option would be really, uh, probably really handy. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like Brighton are a very good side and they're where they are on the table for a reason. They've got some really, really good players. Pascal Gross, I think, is a brilliant pl player. Evan Ferguson, Jao Pedro, you know, they've struggled for a while to have a real goal-getter. Now they've got two who can help chip in with the goals. Ansu Fati, uh, Solly March, Dunk, Igor Van Hecker. You know, they've got some really good players. Esther Pinyan. They have a really good squad. 
Brighton. And they're in Europe for a reason. They're fighting for Europe again for a reason. And um, it's not going to be straightforward. Away from home again is something that we struggle with. Not as bad as last year, but still not great. So we really need to try and, and improve on that. Do I expect Brighton away to be where we pick up points and look back on the season and say because we didn't pick up points there where we should have done, we, you know, that's going to cause us to go down? Probably not, but I think we need to start picking up points uh, regularly. We really do. I'm starting to get a bit twitchy, a bit tetchy. You know, we've got the points deduction and, and that is not in our hands anymore. I know it's our fault and we deserve the deduction if that's what we're going to get. If that's what they see fit and that's what they saw fit for Everton, then, you know, give it to us and we'll just have to deal with it. But whatever we get, we get. And it, I think there's a number. I don't know what the number is, but there's definitely a number that if we get more than that, then we're probably down as it stands. Maybe anything more than seven or eight, maybe. I think six points, we, we, we can be okay. You know, a win against Luton, uh, a win away at Goodison could, you know, be enough sort of thing. A, a point against another team in and around us. But, um, look, I think we've got to really start to try and pick up points. And this one, I'm not going to say, oh, this is one where, you know, a great place to start because it's not. But look at the back end of last season. We've got points against Arsenal. We've got points, you know, against teams that we probably shouldn't have got points against. You know, and I think that um, this is a chance to to do that. If Brighton are going to be you know in a sort of a, a lick in the wound situation, and we can go ahead and get something, then this is a good chance to do that. But look, I'm just really not sure. The analysis on this isn't great. I'm really not sure. Look, part of me is like we could do it, and part of me is like don't be silly. It's Brighton, and we probably end up disappointed again. Um. But yeah, in terms of in terms of the um, in terms of the scoreline for me, my head is probably saying like two 0 Brighton. My heart is going to go two on Forest. No, we first no we managed to battle and and get something from the game, which would be fantastic. In terms of a lineup for me, then um, I'm not too sure on fitness and availability in terms of some of the players I've mentioned already. My ideal eleven would be sells in goal. Neko right back, congratulations to him for winning player of the month. He's been really good of late. He was fantastic in that win against West Ham. At left back, I think Tavares is still out. So I'd probably go with Aina or Toff. I think it'll probably be Toff, but if Aina's fit, I wouldn't be disappointed to see him there. Centre halves, obviously we've got Felipe who's retiring at the end of the season, which is a shame, but huge thank you to him for everything he's done for the club. I'd probably go with Omar Bamadali and Murillo, though, at the centre-halves. I think they did well against Liverpool. And, um, you know, we've got, to, we've got to really try and use the disappointment and use the anger from that one to fly into this one. So trying to get as many players to play this game that played that game that we can will be helpful in that. Two midfielders. If Sangari's back, I'd, I'd chuck him in. If not, then I'd go with um, probably Dominguez and Yates. Three behind the striker. Uh, ideally, I'd like Alanga, Hudson Adoy, and Gibbs White in behind Awangi. Um, but look, I don't know too much on availability and, and things. Um, I can't lie. So we'll have to see how that pans out. But look, yeah, overall for me, I'm going to go with that 11. I'm a bit nervous, don't get me wrong. I think we need to start getting points and start getting points quickly. Will this be an opportunity to do that? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah. I'm going to hope for a 2 1. We'll see what happens. So, if you did enjoy, then smash the like button, subscribe if you are new around it and you haven't already. Actually, before we want, before I go, I'll just be reminded of that Liverpool game. I just want to talk about that for a brief, brief second. Um, and sorry about my eye. It is, it is sore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, look, honestly, what... how many. How many decisions are going to go against the season? I'm not usually someone that likes to sit here and slag off the referee because I feel like if we deserve to win a game, then we should win it, regardless of the referee decision sort of thing. But it's just wild. There's so many. There's so many. And that one was such a blatant mistake that it's just man mental to me. We've got to use that. We've got to use the disappointment from that to go forward and to... to um, 
to go like right we're gonna we're gonna go against what's happening to us and really work together and try and get the the, the points to stay up or, uh, you know it, it's got to be something that we use and it's got to be fuel that we use and hopefully we use that against Brighton so yeah if you did enjoy this video smash the like button subscribe if you're new around here and you haven't already thank you for watching and come on you reds